Hey guys, welcome back to Makeup by MK. Today's look, I am going to give you this natural fall look with a hint of blue. So I'll zoom you in. So as you can see, it has a little bit of blue. So it's more like a pop of color uh, eye look, but I really hope you like it. And in the end, stay tuned because I'm going to give you two lip options that you can, that you can go with with your look. And, but of course, you can wear any lipstick you want. But anyway, enough jabber. Let's get on with the tutorial. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take my MAC Studio Finish Concealer in NC30. I'm going to use this as a primer on my eyelid. This will help my eyeshadow stay in place and give me more color. Next, I'm going in with Max Red Brick and Soft Brown. I'm gonna mix these two together to go. I'm gonna mix these two together to give me a good transition shape. That way, it kind of gives my eye a definition and more uh, color payoff on the eyeshadows. And I'm gonna take it here above my crease. Going towards my brow bone, but all, not all the way. And I'm just going to spread this color all over my eye. Next, I'm going in with my Anastasia Beverly Hills palette. I think this is the catwalk, I'm not sure. But I'm taking um, this plummy purple color right here. And I'm going to take that on my little e.l.f. crease brush. I'm going to pick up a little bit of that. Take off the axis, and I'm going to put it right here in my crease and kind of start slowly and then dragging it in. You want to be careful because uh, you don't want to overpower. See, I put it on a little bit like that, and then I go back with my MAC 217 brush and I give it a good blend. And I don't stop until I'm satisfied. Next I'm going to take my e.l.f. Uh, eyeshadow brush. This is just a flat shader brush. And I'm going to go in with this color right here. Unfortunately these don't have names on them, but it's just a nice golden brown. I'm going to take that and I'm going to put it on my lid all over. For my highlight, I'm going to go in with this shade right here. This is a nice pearl white shimmer with maybe a hint of gold in it. I'm going to go in with my little brush. It's from CoverGirls from a palette a long time ago. Still works. Next, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go in my, my L'Oreal Black Jumbo Pencil and I'm only going to uh, tight line my upper line because on the lower lash line we're going to put some color there. So. With Pandora, you can tailor your playlist. And with TXU Energy, we've tailored an energy plan A little bit transferred, but that's okay. TXU Energy three nights gives you free electricity. Next, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and take my L'Oreal, let's see, so Liquid liner and carbon black. This is just a liquid liner. And we're going to create a wing. Okay, after we've done our wing, I'm going to take the Maybelline Master Kajal. It looks like this. It's just a, a blue pencil, which looks like a bullet to me, it can easily kill you. Just put it one in, in one of those guns. Boom! Out to go. Ah! Okay, I'm going to put this on my lower lash line. I'm going to take a pencil brush and I am going to go in with my BH Cosmetics Party Girl palette and I'm going to take this blue right here, 
just going to take a little bit and I'm going to actually smudge it. Like that. I really want the blue to pop out so with the blue liner and the blue shadow together it will really help. And then here, I'm going to connect it with my black liner right here. So I'm going to draw a line. So you should have something like that. And boom! We're done with the eyes for the moment. So... Let's go on with the face. I am going to take my Lancome concealer and um, I can never pronounce this name, but it's Malky Comple. I'm not French. Probably butchered it. And then I'm going to take my concealer brush by Real Techniques and I'm going to use that. And then I'm going to take my foundation brush and just kind of blend it in. I, um, for the sake of the video, I did already do my foundation and, um, and my brows. So um, the foundation I did use was the Lancome 24 Hour Tinted Odell Makeup. And I'm in 410 Bisque. And as a primer, I use my Maybelline BB Cream. This is the one that has the 2% uh, salicylic acid, however you pronounce that. You know the one for acne prone skin? That one. So I mix these two together, put that on, and that's it. Next, I'm going to go in with my powder. And I'm. this is a Rimmel's Stay Matte Powder. And I am in Sandstorm. I'm going to take it on my Kabuki brush. I'm just spread it all over my face. Now that we got the foundation on, I'm going to go back to the eyes and I'm going to put on some mascara because that's important. I'm going to curl my lashes first. Next, I'm going in with my L'Oreal Voluminous Butterfly Mascara. And I'm going to coat my upper lashes and my bottom. Next, we're going to do bronzer. Just a little bit because, well, it's not summer anymore. But I still want my skin to have a little something something. You know, like a little glow. I am going to go in with my NARS Laguna bronzer, which looks like this. And I'm going to take it on a big fluffy brush like this. And I am just going to give my face a little hint of bronze. Like I said, I don't want an intense bronzer. I just want a hint. Okay, I'm going to go in with this Revlon Coral Reef Blush, which looks like this. And just kind of deepen up that blush. And then what I'm going to do is take my Kabuki. Oh, I'm going to take my Kabuki brush and blend that out so it doesn't look so harsh. So I'm going to give you two lip options. One is a more like a pink berry kind of color. This is a Maybelline Matte. Uh, lipsticks and this one is called lust for blush oh yeah okay so that's one lip option you can go for you know or 
Okay, I'm gonna go in with another uh, matte lipstick by Maybelline, and this one is called uh, Darren Lee Nude. And this is. So those are your lip options. Of course, you can wear whatever lipstick you want, you know, whatever you're comfortable with. But those were just my suggestions, my two options that you could try. So yeah, that's it. Okay guys, so that's it for today's look. I really hope you liked it. It was super easy. Anybody can do this. And I think this look is really perfect for those who have brown eyes because it really brings out the blue. And yeah, the brown eyes will just, it will do it for you, girl. Okay guys, stay tuned for our next video. We will be announcing our October giveaway, which, oh, I'm so jealous that y'all are going to get this and we're not. Ah! I'm just kidding. But no, it's going to be really exciting. Really looking forward to giving this uh, giveaway out for you guys. It is going to be so exciting. So yeah, stay tuned for that video for all the details and whatever. And yeah, that's pretty much it. So, um, oh, and if you have any suggestions, for Halloween looks um, since you know we're still in the beginning of October and I know a lot of people are gonna be hunting for Halloween looks. Nika has already posted three videos of Halloween tutorials and we're working on another one that we still need to put together but um, if you have any other ideas um, some something that you want to be let us know down in the comments and yeah so anyway I really hope you enjoyed this look I will be seeing you soon and Talk to you later. Bye.